Josh Dero, Larry Bluestein. Back in the saddle, baby. Oh, yeah, well, we'd spin a little bit, huh? Yeah. Another baby yeah. for me. Auto That's Nation, good. Auto Nation Gridiron Report here on South Florida High School Sports Talk. I just hop in for the big stuff. That means yes. sign, <laughs> signing day is just around the corner. And uh, tons of coverage for you with the, on the actual day. It's next Wednesday, the 5th. We'll have we'll be out from uh, 8 in the morning till all through the afternoon. Cameras at a ton of schools, reporters at a ton of schools. We've got a lot of good things planned for you. But uh, in this edition of the Gridiron Report, uh, there's still a handful of kids that are uncommitted uh, with some schools that they will be choosing between. So who better to tell you what those schools might get than this man, Larry Bluestein. And let's start with uh, one of the best kids in the 2014 class. In fact, all these kids are yeah. it, it probably made your top 50. Treon Harris, originally committed to Florida State. Still might stick there, but also looking at Florida, Auburn, and we'll take a visit to Miami. Uh, whoever gets Treon Harris as a quarterback, what kind of quarterback are they getting? Well, at first, you and I bat battled this all the way. This has been a Quentin Flowers race all the way to the end that Treon won at the end. And uh, and uh, Coach Bean, there you go, right? Nice. I think you've been waiting three years for me to say that. But uh, this is a kid who really developed. Used the seven-on-sevens, used those off-season workouts, his speed, his athleticism, his family bloodlines are pretty darn good, too. And... Uh, just became a really natural quarterback that got it done on every stage. So why wouldn't he get it done at any other stage? Yeah, where, wherever he picks, whether it's still FSU, he decides maybe Miami or wherever, he's a winner now. You know, he knows what he he knows knows what he has to do. And you know, I say they're bring him in, whoever you bring him in, just like the FSU did years ago with Anquan Bolden, with the idea that he's going to play quarterback. If you need him at another position in the interim and you have somebody else that's doing the job, then you switch him. And you have that luxury. That's that's a Florida, South Florida athlete right there. <laughs> well, speaking of athletes, uh, we go up to Miami Northwestern. We'll talk about JoJo Robinson, someone you are familiar with for a very long time. Can play offense or defense. His preference probably uh, to play offense. He's also currently a Florida State commit, but most people would think he'll end up somewhere else. He's looking at South Florida, Arkansas. I think he's going to finish up at TCU. Nonetheless, a phenomenal player. Yeah, you get a national championship under your belt, and then those kids, the kids that you offered early on, maybe not. You know, there's other guys that come along, and I just think that JoJo is one of those victims of never really getting an opportunity to show what he could do the best, because he's always been viewed as the savior. He's he's had to play on both sides of the ball. He had to pick him up uh, from a you know from from a leadership standpoint, he's had to do everything but play his own game. I, I definitely think, Josh, he gets an opportunity to get to the next level. They put him in that slot. His speed, his size, his ability to get upfield, I think he's going to be very special. He still runs with the ball as well as anybody. I still remember when he, he and, and Yerby were regarded as the two best running backs coming out that year. So what else can you say about Wharton? Big game kid. I mean, against anybody, he'll... You think you have him, and he'll put the ball in the referee's hands every time. And the kid's a winner. He knows how to do it. He did against uh, that rainy day against um, Killian and, and for the – Oh, yeah. The, whoo, because he made a great catch when he needed to, especially in the mud. Big-time football player. And, and I don't even have to remind you what he did in the state title game. No, not, a, not a, no, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> yes. you, have to, I won't, you got me tongue twisted there for a second. <laughs> All right, so a couple of five five kids that should make a splash on signing day, and we'll certainly we'll be hearing from them at the next level. And I don't know how many other uh, tens of hundreds of kids will be doing the same from our area. We'll have signing day covered for you here on South Florida High School Sports. Plenty from this guy and the rest of our crew. For Larry, I'm Josh. A special edition countdown to signing day for the Auto Nation Gridiron Report here on SouthFloridaHighSchoolSports.com.